Republican governors are holding a two-day meeting in Las Vegas to examine why Mitt Romney lost and how to rebuild the party to deliver an effective message. And the rest of the party may want to pay close attention. Republican governors just added one to their majority in governor mansions, now totaling 30. And no sitting Republican governor seats were lost in the last election. They picked up North Carolina, a state that has not elected a Republican governor since the 1980s. Joining me now is the executive editor of the National Journal Hotline, Josh Kroshauer. And Josh, uh, you're basically saying in, in your piece that at tr some level here, Republican governors are able to moderate where other Republicans are not able to. When you look out of 30 out of 50 governorships that are Republican, what is happening on the gubernatorial level that's different than the congressional and national levels? Well, Richard, it's remarkable that you're seeing all this soul-searching taking place within the congressional wing of the Republican Party. But when you actually look at the Republican governors, they can actually point to something of a policy agenda, a conservative policy agenda in some cases, that has won support from, from both sides of the aisle. So you look at Chris Christie in New Jersey, who's gotten a lot of national celebrity, but he, he was able to cut spending and reform the pension system in his first year while getting some Democratic support for, for, his, for his initiatives, even though it was quite, quite controversial. You look at Bobby Jindal, who's been making waves about his comments about how the party needs to reform in the wake uh, of Mitt Romney's loss, and he's taken the lead on education reform in Louisiana and, and received very positive reviews for his, his handling of the recovery right. in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. So you have these Republican governors that are actually getting things done, and, and, they're, and they're providing a model for how the Republican Party can uh, transition in the wake of Mitt Romney's yeah, loss. And, and even in historically blue states, I mean, on the map right now, California is reading blue in terms of the gubernatorial uh, leaning. but. California, for instance, has had a whole series of Republican governors. You've got Pennsylvania, you've got New Jersey, as you just mentioned. Are all of these Republican governors successful for very different reasons? There's, 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 there are a whole swath of policy differences, but they all tend to have an agenda, or many of the leading ones at least, have an agenda of reform. And another thing that you can look at with the Republican gubernatorial class is they actually embrace diversity. And you have Hispanic governors in Nevada, Brian Sandoval uh, won election in 2010, Susana Martinez, who got rave reviews for her convention speech uh, at the Republican National Convention. These are, these are, you see the Republican wing in Congress being very, very white, a lot of men dominating the caucus in the governor side of things you have a lot of Hispanic and, and Indian American yeah, and, governors that are really and, and, showing the way and to your point right there uh, you say you know you make the point of four of the five women serving as governors in 2013 they're Republicans you look the large majorities of African Americans Latino and Asian Americans voting Democratic in this last election on the presidential level the question might be you know how important for the GOP's future are women and minority governors to the party and they clearly have more at this point than actually the Democrats do at that level. Yeah, it's really remarkable when you look at the governors uh, and, and, and how they have much more diversity both in ethnicity and in, and in gender. And, and it's a real model when you look at all the exit polling data showing how badly Romney underperformed with female voters and how he just did absolutely terribly uh, with Hispanics and even Asian Americans. You look at, at, at if identity is going to be a big right. factor in the upcoming election, you can look to folks what? like Susana Martinez and Bobby Jindal. Why wasn't he able to leverage that advantage on the balance of power in, on the gubernatorial level? We didn't, the, the, what Jindal said uh, today is very revealing. He said Romney ran too much on his biography and not enough on policy. And I think you'll be hearing a lot more from these governors, at least a very diverse yeah. set of governors, on policy and reforms more than just being a fix-it uh, businessman as, as Romney Because they had the ground games. They do, and, and they're, they're up for re-election, many of them, in 2014. So if they win, uh, if someone like a Susana Martinez or Sandoval wins in tw the re-election in 2014, expect to hear a lot about them in the national landscape. A lot of interesting possibilities uh, from the Statehouse. Absolutely. Josh Kroshauer, thank you so much. Thanks, Richard. All right. Today's